Hello and welcome to What The Hey. Thank you for joining me to check out a video that someone suggested I react to and that person was Dallas was here 84 So hello to you and thank you once again for the request. And the actual content that I'm checking out today is titled Prejudice by Tim Minchin, which was uploaded on March 4th of 2010. The video duration is 6 minutes and 43 seconds. And the video description gives an indication as to where the video is sourced from. And the actual content was uploaded by Tim Minchin mention so I'll have the video I'm reacting to linked as well as the channel tagged in the description so if you want to check out either of those sources they will be there. Also in the description if there's anything in this content that I feel like someone would want to be warned about I'll mention that there. You don't have to read it you can if you want to and then last but not least in the comment section I'll pin a little comment with like the different timestamps and segments of this video so if there's something specific you want to check out that will be listed there uh, but I believe that is all of the information stuff so let's actually check out the video itself. Intent oh that is quite the way to open a song. <laughs> I, I love how you can also kind of tell that he was about to break character, but it's fine. This is a sure. song about prejudice. Great. We'd love to hear it. And the language of prejudice. Really. Very deep. And the power of... Of prejudice. The language of... Of prejudice. <laughs> prejudice. You can say... Yeah, there you go. I've never seen his stuff, so this is new. That's also it's a very interesting wig. Prejudice. 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 Yeah. Oh, Prejudice. I like the echo. Prejudice. Prejudice. Fancy. In our modern, free-spoken society, there is a word that we still hold taboo. Do we? A word with a terrible history of being used to abuse, oppress and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will fall I guess so. with more power Horrible than word. the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. Swords. A cup of yeah. G's, an R and an E, an I and an N. Not spelling it in the correct order. <laughs> Just six little letters all jumbled together have caused damage that we may never mend. Yeah. And it's important that we all respect that if yes. these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own, it uh -huh. doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. So never underestimate. I love the echo the technique. Power that language imparts. Sticks and stones may break Will your break bones, your bones. But words can break hearts. Oh, that is so deep. A couple of G's, cheese, unless you've had to live it. An R and an E, even I am careful with it. An I and an N in the end. This is very much so like Bo Burnham a little bit. Again. You didn't even really spell it. Ooh, snap. Switching it up. Snap very yeah. jazzy now. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. That's true. That's only true, it's valid. Can call another ginger ginger. Is this only gonna be about so gingers? To me if you care for your health. You won't call me ginger last you ginger yourself, yeah. Only oh, I see a ginger. Can call another ginger ginger. Yep. When you are a ginger, life is pretty hard. The years of ritual bullying in the schoolyard. The kids Not call really. you ginger and fan of pants. No invitation <laughs> to the high school dance, but you get up True. and learn to hold your head up. You With your ginger your hair. Not get head up, but until the feeling of ill is truly let up, then the word is ours and ours alone. Don't you know that only a ginger can call another ginger ginger? Of all the people groups it's to talk about, ginger, fantastic. Can call another ginger ginger. So if you call us ginger, we just might come unhinged. If you don't have a Ooh, fringe, I like that. A tinge of the ginger in it, only a ginger. Good wordplay. Is now he a ginger me, though? Not looking for sympathy. Just because we're sensitive to UV. 
just cause we're pathetically pale. Where are we his socks? With the females, yeah. I like to ask the ladies round for ginger beer. And soon they're running their mm. fingers through my ginger beard. And don't oh, my ginger that's good. Their ginger tea, yeah. And asking, can they call me ginger? And I say, I don't think that's appropriate. Cause only a ginger no, can call it's not. a ginger ginger. And all the ladies, they agree it's a fact. But once you're gone, ginger, you can't go you, you back. Go back, Only yeah. Ginger can call an Amen. Ginger, ginger. Yeah, go, ginger. Go, you funky motherfucking ginger. <laughs> oh, he fancy with it. He playing them keys just right. Yes, yeah, sir. You can call us bozo or fire truck. You can even call us carrot top or blood nut, blood nut, blood nut. I've you never can heard those. Matchstick or tampon, tampon. <laughs> That's good. I like that one. Oh, he's pausing. Oh, is it gonna break? Maybe. But fucking with the G word is just not on. If you're a ginger phobe and you don't like us, we will stand up to the fight if you wanna fight us. But if you cut yourself, you might catch ginger bite us. So maybe oh, you should shut your funky mouth Yeah, only a ginger You can call another ginger ginger No, I can't yeah, stop looking at his feet Because it's weirding me out You can call another ginger ginger So if you call a ginger, you can't whinge If you're injured, if you don't have a tinge Of the ginger in your minge Only a ginger I had no idea there were so many words that was like similar to that. That's great. And you know my kids will always be clothed and fed cuz papa's going to be bringing home the gingerbread. Yes, that's awesome. They'll be well read and by red I mean red and the other kind of red. In their head. Yeah. That's great. I like the gingerbread one. That's good. Dang, he's good on the piano. Just like only a ninja can sneak up on another ninja. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Only a ginger. Only a ginger. Ooh. Only a ginger. Yeah. Are you listening? I'm not pointing the finger. I'm just having a singer. I am just reminding ya. That uh -huh. only a ginger can call another ginger. Ginger. Snap. Bum bum. Oh, and the fade to black. You'll love to see that. That's intense. That's a way to end a song, though. I always feel like big piano songs, you gotta end up somehow like that. That's fantastic. So first and foremost, I really have to comment on the way he was actually dressed in that video because one, where were his shoes and socks? And two, why did his hair look like that if that was his real hair? And three, why was he dressed like he was going to go to the Renaissance Festival? <laughs> Like I said, I've never seen anything from Tim before and I feel like that was a really good way to do so because one, his comedy from that was really good. I like the wordplay and everything, but also the way he played the piano was fantastic. There are not that many people that can like play the piano that well and he did it really good. I am very surprised to hear a song like that because I feel like gingers nowadays aren't really made fun of. I'm kind of a ginger depending on the time of year, like I kind of think it's like strawberry blonde a little bit. Depends on the lighting and everything, but I've never met, like been made fun of for it. I've never been around a ginger that has like had people made fun of them, so I don't know who's doing that nowadays. I did really like some of the techniques that he used. Of course, the wordplay was really good, like in making jokes about like gingerbread, like different things with the word ginger. Like that was really funny. I like the way that he occasionally switched up the tempo with how he played the piano. Like sometimes it was more loud and dramatic. Sometimes it was like jazz-ish. Sometimes it was more like not lighthearted, but light and stuff, light and fast. So that was really cool. Once again, I can't play the piano that well at all. And I guess in general, I'm just surprised about the fact that he sang about being ginger and how that's connected to like prejudice, which I, it's like comedy. So it's supposed to be surprising and you're not really supposed to like anticipate it. I definitely wasn't expecting that. In general, comedy is such like a diverse thing, like certain people find different things funny. Um, but you could tell that the audience seemed to really enjoy it, so I feel like he did a good job with- Like, it's always fun when you have people that can make fun of themselves and other people find it like genuinely entertaining in a like not negative way. Like he was making fun of gingers by being one, I guess, and everyone kind of laughed along and it was fun, it was good. 
but that's essentially the reaction and once again i'll have the channel tagged as well as the video linked in the description so if you want to check out more of their stuff check out more of the comedy or just watch that actual video those will be in the description uh, but that is it so thank you very much for watching bye